So to continue from our previous video, we, we found a lower bound to n, and um, we said that n cannot be less than whatever its first bit, its most significant bit, represents in, in, as a decimal value. So we said we, we posited that n is larger is greater than or equal to 2m, 2 to the n minus 1. Now, if you took the uh, uh, log base 2 of both sides, you would get that uh, log base 2 of n is greater than or equal to m minus 1. So now we have our lower bound right here. Um, and in case, and for the upper bound of n, we have that n cannot be larger than or equal to 2 to the m. So if we were looking at our number 26, or actually for any number, Okay, and if we assume that it had m bits, then 2 to the m would actually be the bit right here. So this means n cannot be as large as 2 to the m. It has to be less than 2 to the m. Because the most that you can fill are all the bits that you have here, the m bits that you have here. This is 2 to the m minus 1 and so on and so forth till 2 to the 0, right? So all you can fill are these bits, and you could put them all to be 1. But you can never reach the value of 2 to the m. The most you can reach is 2 to the m minus 1. That's the highest value. So here's our upper bound for n. We have that n must be less than to 2 to the m. Now do the same thing. Take the log base 2 of both sides. You have that log base 2 of n is less than m. So combine these two bounds that we found and put log base 2 of n in the middle, you would get this. Now what does this mean? This basically means if we actually look at a concrete number, for example say 3.2, then it would basically mean that 3.2 is less than a certain number m, and it's greater than or equal to that same number m subtracted by 1. Now if you look at it closely, and knowing that m can only be an integer, because it's, it represents the number of bits we have in uh, uh, the representation of n, then you will see that m, in this case, can only be 4. Try replacing it with any other value, it won't work. It has to be 4, as an integer. So you will have that, uh, and this is true. And basically what we found is that we've actually found our m, we've narrowed down on our m, and our m will basically be equal to the floor of log n base 2, the floor meaning just truncating it and taking the 3, plus 1. This will be your n. So in this case, if we looked at the specific case, our floor will be 3, so we're, we're uh, taking the floor of 3.2, basically truncating it, and not caring anymore about the decimal value. And so we have 3 here, plus 1, it gives us our 4. So this is the value of m. And we said that our algorithm will run in time that's proportional to m, so basically it will be proportional to log n, or log, two, uh, log n base 2. So we found our time complexity of the algorithm.